Finding Lucy. When Lucy took her paint outside to the garden, the cat purred, and Lucy painted, and Lucy was happy until one day. A reporter came from the Daily News. What are you doing? Asked the reporter. I am painting the color of love, love for the Saint Lucy. That's ridiculous," said the reporter. "It looks like jelly bean soup." The cat bristled his whiskers, treated jelly bean soup," said Lucy. After reading the reporter's report, the curious got curious, and Elephant came to listen to the color, but she could not hear the laughter. It as quiet as a mouse. She said, "It isn't loud enough. I will try to make it louder." Said Lucy, and she offered the elephant tea. Of after the elephant tea, the crocodile came to eat the art. He thought it was would taste like jelly bean soup, but chum chum, ah,、uh, he said. This is disgusting. It is scrumptious enough. I will try to make it more scrumptious," said Lucy. The crocodile gained a magnificent grin. Then the elephant and crocodile sailed away to see the white, white world. The cat was not unhappy to see them go. Lucy took a deep breath, and then she started painting again. And the paint was like a dream. But then, a chicken came blustering down the lane. This painting isn't bright enough. Turned the chicken. I am sure it will get braver," said Lucy firmly. It will never be braver than me," said the chicken. All of a sudden, the chicken jumped over the moon, and where she came down, nobody knows. Pink shouted the mother pig. "There's not enough pink. My babies cannot sleep without pink." So Lucy added pink, lots of pink. She painted. A lullaby of pain, and the babies fell asleep. She painted a, and and that was a big relief. But now, of course, there was too much pain. I think you need some green, whispered the frog. Maybe so, sighed Lucy, and she poured a whole bucket. Of green all over the painting. That's better," said the frog. "Better, it's better, it's better," said Lucy. And then she kissed the frog. And when she did, the frog began to sing, "Holy, holy rock!" cried Lucy. "You have a beautiful voice. Why, you could sing on Broadway. What、well, that?" A long way to hop," said the frog. "But I would like to try. You can do it," said Lucy. "I can do it," said the frog. She, so he did. And now he is singing on Broadway. By now, Lucy was beginning to see that everybody has something to say. She heard them mutter its artery, bursting and bursting and piffing and dribbling and screaming. Never mind that," said. Never mind that," said the cat.
At last, the big city cricket arrived. He took one look and shook his head. It's much too beautiful, he said. It isn't special enough, Lucy wouldn't. She did not want to change the painting. However, she did want to please the big city critic. So Lucy splattered the beautiful painting with ink and garbage and mud. Yes, cried the critical. This is atrocious. And off he went in a babble of flabbergasting words. Lucy was all discombobulated. A gloom, gloomy silence fell over the garden. I can remember, said the cat, when you are repeating the warmness of yellow and the melody of tangerine, said Lucy, and the poetry of blue, I miss that. Me too. Said the cat. Right then, there Lucy got busy. She painted the flutter of birds and the whistling of wind. You might find this hard to believe, she said, but I'm starting to feel like myself again. That fun tell you, Lose," said the cat. How lucky I am," said Lucy, "to have a friend like you." And ever after, after that, the cat grew red, and Lucy painted with grit and determination, and gumption, and pizzazz, and the courage of spring, and the color of laughter. The end.